<laughs> well, time to pay some bills. Yo! What's good, everybody? Y'all be sure about IG and Cash Nasty. Happy holidays, y'all. All right? Just got back to my seat. I know Flight reacted to my video where I cooked Snoop Dogg D O Double G Chicken Wings by Cash Nasty. No, that didn't rhyme. But got no talking about. We got how to make the best old school baked Southern mac and cheese. Flight, I seen clips, bro. You talk about my waffles and how hard they were. I did react to the video. I see the clips, though. It's all good. What do you do, Flight Trump? FTC. Flight T. Sit down. Yeah, we sit down. Yeah. Southern Big Mac and Cheese. How to Thanksgiving style up in this bit. All right, man, you're gonna need your elbow pasta, black pepper, your salt, your garlic powder, paprika, onion powder, creole kick, just a little bit of olive oil. I'm gonna show you why. Get a couple of balls. You don't need some balls for this. Your girl set this up. Your girl set this up. You, no, no, flight, flight. You are not disorganized. The last time I came to your apartment, bro, you had, bro, you had everything upside down here. Bro, you had holes in the wall. The, bro, the, the, the I, flight, bro, don't lie to the people, bro. Your girl set this up for you, bro. I, I know it! This one and a cast iron skillet. You can use something like this if you want to, but I prefer a cast iron skillet. All right, you don't need your chicken stock. Get your heavy cream, get your whole milk, your sour cream, a full stick of unsalted butter. Cheese, sharp cheddar, I prefer. Get your cheeses, you know, three sharp cheddar cheeses and a mozzarella, or you can just do straight up sharp cheddar. Stop capping! Flight, you have never in your life cooked a homemade dish from scratch. Stop it. Stop it. Please. We're talking to a guy who had a Wendy's Nugget Special sponsorship, man. Can you eat, eat like every day? With your air, air fryer. Let's not cheat, Flight. This not, bro. No, is it your you mom or your girl? Really she, they set this up and tell you the structures. Mac and cheese with a southern style. Any other style is not called southern mac and cheese. You can add your cheeses of choices, but I prefer the sharp cheddar cheese. Two eggs, two to three eggs. Already they make that mac and cheese? All right, FCC, Pretty dope. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your macaroni to a boil. But the first thing before you put your macaroni in there is you don't want to get your ingredients to boil the macaroni with. It's not just straight water, in my opinion. I like to go ahead and use this thing called chicken stock because what it does, it gives you flavor to your macaroni instead of it just kind of tasting bland before you even put the seeds. Like, like, <laughs> like, stuff like that, all right? no, bro, bro, no, bro, you don't fly, you don't do this. Because majority of bro, the closest you do, bro, you probably got instant mac and cheese. That's what you do, bro. You go to the aisle three. Find it and you go get the instant mac and cheese, Velveeta cheese. I'll Stop the cap! Stop! Just a little bit, just that much. You know what I'm saying? That's perfect. Go ahead and season a little bit of the water because it's going to help get into the macaroni. We're going to season everything. You know, all right? So this is just the start. This is, we're not putting the main seasoning in here. We're going to go ahead and just add a tad bit of some black pepper. All right? Now that's just going to be part of macaroni. Just give it a little bit of kick. So once we let the water get to a boil, we're going to go ahead and pour our elbow macaroni. All right, guys, the water is at a pretty good boiling temperature or, uh, you know what I'm saying, consistency. That's what you want to get it to. I'm not going to use the entire macaroni box because I want to make sure I leave room for the cast iron skillet and to make sure all those cheeses and the... You're reading a script, dog. I don't know where you probably got the laptop. You can read flight. I'll tell you how. You, I'll tell you guys. <laughs> I'll tell you how, y'all. Is either his girl or mama? Somebody's back there with a script and telling him how to cook this, y'all. I'm telling you, because the thing he sounded too. The natural flight is always saying, "You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know we're gonna put a little bit of this right here and there. You know what I'm saying?" Because he ain't got the wordplay for it. You know what I'm saying? So the fact he didn't say, you know what I'm saying, he got, he reading a script somewhere. You know what I'm saying? The flavors get in between the macaroni, all right? So what you don't want to do, you know what I'm saying? Just like that. I'm going to show you the amount that I leave in the box. It's just a simple box of elbow macaroni that you find at any, you know what I'm saying, grocery store. All right? So you see right, that fresh macaroni it. that's stuck in there? Get your spoon. All right, and what you're gonna also do, it usually says to cook the macaroni for about 
what does it say? Seven minutes, you're not gonna cook it the entire seven minutes. You're gonna cook, I'm gonna stop it at about three minutes, honestly, because you gotta remember. So, you got a whole manual script right in front of you, dog. Oven. This I'm not buying this, dog. Making the best old school baked mac and cheese. It's the most important tip right this second. When you're boiling the macaroni, once again, do not cook it for the same time that you would cook actual regular pasta. Instead, you kind of undercook it. Pouring it with a strainer. But once you drain your pasta, you guys, you're gonna take that and then put it into any type of bowl that's a freelance bowl because we're gonna get the whipping it up, the mac and cheese up in this bit. So you don't really need your cooking pot, you can just set that to the side, all right? So put it in a bowl just like this and I'm gonna literally show you everything I'm about to do and just follow the lead up in this bit. All right, everybody, so we got our butter up in here. You want your butter to be looking like this. Get the whipping up. Get that butter up in there, get it good. Get that butter melted. The macaroni shells, you can just smell it too. You know what I'm saying? All right, everybody, I'm gonna show you directly hands-on so it makes it a lot easier. So once you get your butter all whipped up in there, you know what I'm saying? Have it to that consistency. You see the butter still needs to be melted a little bit, but that pasta gonna do its justice, all right? Now here comes the fun part. Get your so fresh and so clean, clean cheeses. I got three sharp cheddar cheeses and I also got some mozzarella. That's my preference. Like I said, you can use any cheese you want. But if Who is directing this in the back, bro? You even said mozzarella correctly. Nah, I'm not buying this flight. You got a manual back there or you got, you got a director back too, bro. Uh, this is no way hope. Who you think you're fooling? You can't finesse a finesse. Come on, Flight. If you want that southern baked mac and cheese style type of taste, you're gonna wanna have mainly cheddar as your main source of cheeses, all right? You're also gonna add a little bit of sour cream. I'm gonna go ahead and get the sour cream part out the way first. You know what I'm saying? You wanna add just a little bit about like that much. Now what the sour cream is gonna do, you're gonna get your cheese, mac and cheese nice and creamy and everything like that and do the fun part, the cheeses, all right? Now, y'all probably like, where the seasoning, where the seasoning, where the seasoning? Shut up, I'm getting to there, all right? You do the seasoning first, I like to do this part first, you know what I'm saying? Get the cheese, you know what I'm saying? Getting the, you know what I'm saying? That consistency, that mixture up in there, the cheese is gonna melt while you're doing that, all right? So you take your ingredients, all right? You're gonna go ahead and get a little onion powder going in there, all right? Get your Creole kick, just a little bit of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Get some black pepper, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have your taste. Make sure your mac and cheese is seasoned, you guys. This is not Kraft's mac and cheese, all right? This is a real deal. You don't wanna mess up this homemade type of style meal, all right? A little bit more salt in the pasta, all right? You gotta have that paprika. Now, paprika is also an important seasoning, you guys, because this is what gives it the color to your mac and cheese, all right? This is what makes your mac and cheese stand out. You know what I'm saying? Makes it, you know how you see that mac and cheese and it has that like crisp look? You know what I'm saying? So go ahead and don't be shy to add a good amount of paprika in there. It's nothing spicy, nothing crazy type of flavor throw off. And then last but not least, you got your garlic powder, all right? Don't be afraid to season everything, all right? So we got that seasoning out the way. The seasoning police can't say nothing. Say something about my seasoning. Woo, woo, wee. My nose is tingling. Say something about my seasoning, all right? So now, all right, let's get some more cheese. Let's get the mozzarella going now. Now, you guys probably not even gonna end up needing to use all the uh, four or three cheeses that you have. And then we gonna add some more sharp cheddar. Basically, what we're doing, honestly, when it comes to this too, is like you're, you're kind of like layering your mac and cheese, all right? All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and make our custard that's gonna make the mac and cheese creamier and also sit up the proper way. First thing you do- No! No, I'm not buying this fight! cheese you know it i know it we all know it you never in your life ate this before you never like cooked this you, you, you know what you probably ate it because your girl or your mom cooked flight um we're not buying this bro we're not buying this bro no 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 uh uh how you go from listen right here how you go from literally using an uh, air fryer so I even know how to turn on the skillet with the right temperature. We made him did a video together, copying my recipe with the mustard to this advanced stage. How you take the big leap? When you're making your custard, y'all, 
Get your heavy whipped cream. You can use about like half of it. You know what I'm saying? Don't use a full thing. Um, and then with the sour cream, you go back in the sour cream and put it to your custard again. All right? You want to put the sour cream in both your mac and cheese prep and your custard that we're doing right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this to the side so I have more room to, uh, you know what I'm saying, elbow space and stuff like that. All right? You're going to take your whole milk, all right? Whole milk, everybody. Not almond milk. Not regular 2% milk. Literally whole milk. It's a whole difference, y'all, all right? My hands is mad slippery. The video too right, clean cut, bro. So half and half whole milk, half and half sour or, or, or sour cream too, but half and half uh, uh, whipped cream or uh, heavy cream, excuse me, whatever you want to call it. All right, so that's about uh, right, right there with the milk. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and get our egg going on in there. Learn how to crack an egg, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Learn from the best. I should have really cracked the egg first, to be honest with you. Uh, so I can see it. Make sure you get a whisk too, which I have on the side. Who you like this from? Who you like this from, Flight? Come on. Learn for the best. Who's the best? Who's the best? I mean, I talked to this. But I can't recall. First, to be honest with you, uh, so I can see it. Make sure you get a whisk too, which I have on the side right here. All right, crack your egg in there. Mind you guys, you don't need, it don't matter what color the egg is. It can, uh, you know what I'm saying, be any color. All right, now here's the custard part right here. Don't be afraid to season nothing, all right? Add some more paprika, why not? Add some more salt, all right? Add a little bit more Creole kick. Add some more of that garlic powder, you know what I'm saying? Thank me later with that seasoning uh, free game right here, you know what I'm saying? Do not be afraid to season everything. And then the last but not least, with a little bit of black pepper. Once you have that custard mixed in, you know what I'm saying? You want it at a consistency like that. All right. Next up, you're going to go ahead and grease your cast iron skillet. Grease that thing up with butter. This is going to keep your macaroni basically from sticking on. Flight. The cat is out of the hat, man. The jig is up. We caught you red-handed, man. Flight. Where, are, where's Emmanuel? You're not this advanced. You're not, bro. You're still a noob at cooking, bro. No, no, no. We're not believing this, bro. Yes, this looks good. I, I, I hate to say it, it looking good before it even come up, so I know it come good. But this is not your recipe. You copy somebody, your mama is in the back, or you got on FaceTime or something, or you got your girl back there helping out, directing this. Stop! I smell cap. On and uh, you know what I'm saying being just stuck to the pan, but nothing's more frustrating than just stuff being stuck on the pan. So once you have your pan buttered up to that consistency, just like that, I kind of got it in every corner. Because the mac and cheese is still hot, it's gonna melt it once it gets into there. You're gonna go ahead and not take the entire mac and pep, but you're gonna go ahead and just Fuck like, you know what I'm saying. We're gonna basically be layering it, all right? So you start off little by little at a time, all right? Because what we're gonna do in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and add the custard. You know what I'm saying? To this little bottom layer, and I'm gonna do a middle layer, add some cheese, and then finish it off with the top, uh, with the custard. So just watch how I do it, and I'm gonna speed it up. All right. This is gonna make your mac and cheese creamy, you guys. All right. You get that layer. Add some more of your cheese of your choice. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of uh, mozzarella, and then I'm gonna get some more sharp cheddar. Don't be afraid to add more season if you like to, you guys. I'm gonna go put some, put a little bit more paprika, you know what I'm saying, happening up in there, so it gives it just that, you know what I'm saying, that 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 crispy golden look I was talking to you guys about. We have hella custard, but hey, we're not gonna, you know what I'm saying, use the entire thing. You feel me? So, you know what I want our stuff to overflow. So you wanted to put it just like in that consistency, just like that, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and spread that around. All right. Put a little bit more paprika, you know what I'm saying? Do not be afraid this season. This is going to give it that perfect golden look when it comes out that oven. Get your mitts on safety first, and I will check back when it's at about. Bro, you never put. 
out that oven, get your mitts on safety first, and I will check back when it's at about 25 minutes. And I'm gonna see how it's looking like. 25 to 30 minutes, y'all. Let's see what the Mac is looking like. That timer just went off. Bam! Oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. Now, mind you guys, that this match is also gonna continue to still cooking because a cast iron skillet is actually really, really hot. You know? You don't know this! Who's directing you in the back? This is scripted! This is fake! This is false! This is Fugazi! No! No! I'm not believing this, dude. I'm not. I'm saying this is perfect to pull out right now, bro. It is time. The taste tester, the finale, everything. Hold on, I gotta get my phone right quick in this bed, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is live. This is live. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You should see it from my phone view. Can y'all see that on the camera view? Oh my goodness. Guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. If you tell me this does not look dank, you are hating. This is the best mac and cheese in the world, bruh. Bam. Oh my goodness, I outdid myself, bro. Hold on, let me get myself a plate, bro. It is smoking hot still. Look at how cheesy that is, bro. You can stretch this cheese all the way to Alaska, fam. Yo. Holy. Oh my goodness, bro. I didn't even let it cool for the full five minutes. I'm like, bro, I, I can't I, I can't just sit here and look at this beautiful, creamy mac and cheese just sit there and get cold. I mean, bro, I need to taste it at its tip point. Hot peak. We don't taste test it, bro. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm. Oh my goodness. Bro, this is so cheesy. This is so creamy, so cheesy. Mm. The macaroni melts right in your mouth. Mm. Mm. Guys, please. Very simple recipe, man. You can impress your lady. You can impress your family, bro. The most important dish for Thanksgiving, bro. Come. Shut up. That's a mean dish right there, man. I can't even hate Damn! No! 10 out of 10, flight.